Did you know that if you are in the YouTube Partner Program that there are settings that you can use to dictate what ads show up on your YouTube videos? And did you know that you should be using these if you want to make sure that whatever affiliate sales that you're sending are not being stepped on? Or you can use them to negotiate more with long-term sponsorship deals to block their competitors from advertising on your videos, as well as the competitors of the affiliate products that you promote, which I should have mentioned as part of the affiliate part. And if you have very specific religious or political views, or if you just don't want certain things showing up on your videos, you can control it. And I'm gonna show you how, starting right now. The very first thing you wanna do is you wanna log into your Google AdSense account. From there, you want to go to the brand safety tab. Once you open that up, you're gonna see YouTube host. Next, you wanna go into blocking controls. Once you're on that page, you're going to see something that looks like this. And here are the options that you have. First, you have managing the general categories. Now keep in mind, everything that you do in here can impact your ad rates. So you wanna make sure that you're using this strategically or if you have very strong beliefs. But you can see here that you can just shut off any topic that you don't want advertised on your YouTube videos, which is pretty cool. In order to block any of these, then all you have to do is just click on the little tab right over here, and then it's gonna change it to blocked. Now keep in mind, that is going to block those companies from advertising on your videos, which then can cost you ad revenue, but this gives you some control, but I wanna show you some more important areas. The first is sensitive categories. So when it comes to sensitive categories, the idea here is if you are somebody like me and you don't want political ads running on your content or religious ads running on your content, then in that particular case, you can just come in here and you can block those. Now, during political season, when you know ads are being ran all over the place, you know you're not gonna be able to tap into that. But if you don't care about politics or you just don't want that involved or associated with you and your content in any way, then you can actually block it right here using this particular feature. And the same exact thing goes for any religion, sensationalism, any type of you know casino games, video games, Games, anything that you want here that is in this area. For example, I also have alcohol, gambling, and betting blocked because I find those to be negative activities. And because of that, I just don't want them being associated with me or my content or my channel in any way, shape, or form, at least to the extent where I have control over it. Next is the advertiser URL section. Now, in this particular area, this is where you would add the competitors of sponsors that you're working with if they pay you more in order to do this. And this is also where you add the companies that that are competitors for anything that you promote as an affiliate, as well as the companies that you promote as an affiliate. So in this particular case, I'm gonna hide mine. And the reason that I'm hiding mine is just because I don't wanna put anybody on blast or anything like that. But you can see that, you know, I have like 29 different things that I block in here. A lot of times if there's like a company that is like trying to inflate YouTube views or sell subscribers or something like that, I'll take them out. And I also put anything that I promote as an affiliate in here. And the reason that I do that is because if if I'm promoting something as an affiliate, companies will also target specific keywords for their ad campaigns. So because of that, when they are targeting those keywords, it's possible that my video will actually get some collateral damage in terms of their videos showing up in front of my videos and them essentially being able to capture that sale before I would have a chance to do it. So because of that, using this feature ensures that that doesn't happen, but you can add competitors here as well, which also ensures that they can't advertise on the videos where you're promoting something else as well. All you have to do is add the URL of the website that you wanna block. Make sure you add the HTTPS colon slash slash. In this case, I'm gonna add TubeBuddy.com because I promote them as an affiliate. And then I'm gonna click search. From there, I can see TubeBuddy.com and a www.TubeBuddy.com. I make sure that both of those are blocked. And then that helps ensure that I don't get caught up in one of their ad campaigns and possibly lose a sale because their ads would be running on my videos. This prevents that from happening. Keep in mind that depending on where it is that you are at with your YouTube channel, you can use this as a way to make more money by blocking competitors of the companies that you work with at the sponsor level and also blocking the people that you are promoting as an affiliate and their competitors. But also keep in mind that with some of these options that you have in here, that it will also cost you ad revenue if those people cannot advertise on your videos. But again, if you are someone that has you know strong beliefs about something, you just don't want things associated with your content, this is a perfect solution for that. Now, if you're watching this video, there's a really good chance that you are in the YouTube Partner Program or maybe you're on your way to the YouTube Partner Program. So because of that, I do want to encourage you to also find additional ways that you can monetize your content. I have an entire video on different ways that you can make money from the content that you're already making. You can go ahead and click into that right here, right now. And I'll see you over in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.